The N stands for nurturing, that's the person that would recycle the box. Right? And the K stands for knowledge, that's the person that would engineer the box. So each one of those four types has a very specific set of buying behavior. And it's being driven by a set of values, and those values is what's tri uh, triggering the yes or tripwiring the no. And if you understand your clients, if, if you understand that your clients that you're trying to sell any of your products and services to are one of these four types, then what I was trying to figure out was how do I profile them mm -hmm. and how do I crack the code of which one they are in less than 90 seconds? And I'll show you what I came up with to be able to do that. But first, to understand just how important it is with the four types, Tony Robbins says, let your prospect determine your presentation. Mm -hmm. So if there's four types of people, how many sales presentations should you have? Four. four. But how many do most of you have? One. One. So you're using a one-size-fits-all approach, and that's why your mentors that you're taking advice from are telling you to go out there and deliver that same one over and over and over, playing the numbers game. And that's why they tell you to expect to get more no's in order to get more what? Yes. Yes. Yeses. But if you understand that those four personality types are so different one from another, picture each of the four types like foreign languages. And let's say whichever one is your dominant type, let's pretend that's the language you were born to speak, for me, English. So if I'm out there talking to my matching personality type, if I speak English and my customer speaks English, we're probably gonna have a good connection and I'm gonna say something that triggers the sale. But what if I meet a customer who doesn't speak English, instead this, this category, let's say, speaks French. What if you had the Rosetta Stone of sales and communication where you could flip a switch in your brain and suddenly you speak French and you say, Bonjour, je m'appelle Shelly, j'habite en France pour trois ans quand j'étais petit. Now, is there anyone in here who speaks French? Okay, and for those of you that do speak French, we had a connection in that moment. And for the rest of you, how many of you thought it just sounded cool? <laughs> that sounds cool, do it tomorrow, right? So how often does the customer that's in front of you nod their head and they're being polite and they think you sound cool and then they don't buy from you? Because they actually understood nothing of what you said. But if you have the ability to speak to them in their language instead of your own, you've increased your ability to connect with them by what percent? 100% because you now can speak to a whole other category. You've doubled your influence. What if you meet a third personality type and let's say they speak Romanian. You're like, Romanian? Well, how do you pull that rabbit out of your hat? But suddenly you have the Rosetta Stone of sales, and you switch into Romanian, and you say, Bună ziua, mă numai șeri, am locuit acolo pentru un an jumate. Am fost misionată pentru misere cu mine. Now, how many of you had no idea what I just said? Okay? Same thing like your customer when you speak the wrong code. But if you spoke Romanian, you'd know exactly what I'd say, and you'd have an instant connection. And if you could, you increased your influence above what you were able to do by what percent? 200%. And then there's that fourth uh, personality type category that you may not connect with. But again, if you had the Rosetta Stone of sales and you could communicate to them, let's say K stands for Korean, and suddenly you're like, Anyang Haseo, Nanan Hanawa Chokum Pakim Mudeo. Anyone speak Korean? No. But it sounded cool. <laughs> how's that white girl speaking all these languages? Okay. So the language that your customer speaks is the language that they want to be um, spoken with in, and that's the language of why they buy. And so what I do as a company is I train the top sales experts, the top business owners, and the top entrepreneurs of the world, and I teach them how to become multilingual in the language of why they buy. Okay, and so what we've discovered, and let me just kind of advance this forward, at least if I can, I was gonna show you. 